So, it's that twice time of the year, whatever we want to call it. Games Done Quick is back uh, for the summer runs. And uh, there's some big games in here. Um, some of which are hidden behind setup blocks. But, uh, yeah, so it starts at midday central time, 1 Eastern, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, uh, over on twitch.tv slash games done quick. Uh, looks to be a good lineup though. Starting uh, pretty strong with some uh, Banjo 2 Inspire the Dragon. That is the original one, not the remaster because it's not out yet. Uh, then, probably for your big stuff that they're. Because they seem to be blocking it like last time in terms of stuff that's going to be interesting in the evening sessions, at least US time. But. Uh, it's a pretty decent list, actually. Iconoclasts, Kirby Superstar Ultra, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, Warcraft 3, uh, going into the evening, at least US time. Then Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 3D, Doom 2016 version, uh, Resi 4, Ninja Gaiden Black, uh, the original Ninja Gaiden from the NES. Then some gimmick, one of the best NES games ever. Um... And then some overnights, some more uh, NES stuff like Wacky Races and Kid Call. Uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Some Super Smash TV, that's nice to see. Animaniacs, Cool Spot, Rocket Knight Adventures, uh, Pikmin 3 on the Wii U, uh, Disgaea 5 on the Switch. You know, we're pretty much doing everything. We've got some Genesis games as well. Uh, well, that's Rocket Knight. Um, then... We get an indie sort of block, because uh, we've got uh, Monolith, Master Spy, Enter the Gungeon, Dust Force DX, and Axiom Virgil in a block. Then a little bit of Mega Man stuff, Mega Man 6, 9, and 0, 4. Um, the thing I should have checked to see if I can find it is the donation tracker. Uh... Where is the donation tracker? This is how much I was planned. Because I'm trying to see if there's any clues as to what's going on in terms of the mystery games. Um, in fact, what I should have done is actually just gone to the actual... Uh, submissions thing and it would have said why well, didn't do that in the first place uh, all game submissions because I'm trying to get a gauge of what these setup blocks one are um, there's some backup ones admittedly uh, but the bonus ones I'll quickly run through in a bit uh, but at least I've got them up uh, we've got Rise of the Tomb Raider and then the original Tomb Raider from like 20 years ago. Uh, the Resident Evil HD remaster, Fear, Amy from Foldable Human. Um, he puts up a lot of good film videos, but yeah, he's jumping into the realms of doing crazy stuff in bad video games because Amy is pretty bad. Um, also, Pet the Pup at the Party. I don't know what that is. That seems concerning. Legend of K Anniversary, Simpsons Hit and Run, Bonk's Revenge from Splatterhouse, Castlevania 1 and 3, along with Bloodlines and Circle of the Moon. Uh, there's also a Sonic block with Sonic Adventure, Sonic Spinball, and uh, Sonic 2. Uh, then a little bit of Metroid with Metroid Zero Mission, uh, Metroid Samus Returns, and Super Metroid. I'm guessing there's going to be something... It says 100% map completion. That's interesting. So it's uh, not 100%, it's just map completion. Like, go to every room. Halo 2 Legendary. Looks like playing on the original Xbox as well. We've got some Skyward Sword. Super Monkey Ball 2. Uh, Spider-Man Web of Fire and Spider-Man Venom's Maximum Carnage. Oh, that one I know. Batman Returns. Shadow Warrior Classic Redux, Thief, 
Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, uh, Legend of Zelda Four War Source Adventure, uh, Mario 3D Land, Mexican Runner is doing Cuphead, uh, and then Hat in Time afterwards, and Celeste in a race against TGH and Yoshi Pro, which if you have, don't follow the speedrunning stuff like I sort of do, those guys are basically have been trading off each other world record times over the past few months. So, we're getting the best guys in there. Uh, there's also, though, notably, there's some getting over it with Bennett Foddy uh, speedrunning, which is always nice. Uh, also some Roundabout, which is uh, a really fun, crazy game. Uh, should try and check that out one if you can, even if it's on the archive. A lot of indie stuff as well um, in this bit. I mean, Gift isn't, but we've got some Titan Souls story about my uncle. Uh, then we jump into Strider, uh, the original Legend of Zelda. And then followed by Oracle of Seasons. Then some Paper Mario. Uh, then we've got, I guess, the Deus Ex block, if you want to call it that. With the original Deus Ex, followed by Mankind Divided, followed by the No Out of Bounds run of Prey from last year, which is a really good game. Uh, there's some other stuff as well, which I'll get to because it's a setup block. Uh, Super Mario won in a four-person race. Uh, then a two-person race uh, with Super Mario 3. And then Super Mario World uh, with Rezifos, who wowed us. I know it was last year or two years ago. Uh, who I think at the time was like 13. He's now 15. Um, I think... He was, certainly, he was certainly younger than he was, and he was a teenager, like early teens, so. Let to see how that goes. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is also going to be there. Wave Race Blue Storm on the GameCube. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, then some Rumbo Borderlands pre-sequel. One of the longer sessions, really. Um, some Catherine, which considering there was some new Catherine game stuff coming out soon, that's pretty good. Uh, Double Dragon 1 and 2 is going to be there. Some... Classic Genesis stuff as well with Golden Axe and Streets of Rage 2. Then some more Mega Man stuff, but with uh, Rockman No Constancy, and then Mega Man 7 and 8. Uh, Bionic Commando Rearm 2. Goof Troop. Uh, then uh, an any percent run of Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix. Or Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, it looks like it is. Then we've got Punchy Sean and Cheese 5, two of the top six Super Mario 64 players, going head-to-head -head in the 70 star race. Followed by uh, Wind Waker HD, uh, any percent as well. Then we've got some Task Bot stuff, which is always good. Uh, F-Zero GX and Super Metroid 0%. Uh, along with something else by the looks of it, which is in the bonus stuff. Uh, which looks to be Celeste involved. I think that might be with the Celeste thing that we talked about earlier. Uh, there's also uh, Pokemon Yellow and Red. I don't know whether that's a, uh, a bid war in terms of which gets played. Oh no, any percent glitch for those two games, one controller. Right. Um, then we got some Star Wars stuff with Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight Mysteries of a Sith, and Super Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Uh, then a couple of indies with Harbor Iron Bread. Then uh, some Insomniac stuff, from what I remember, with Ratchet, Ratchet Deadlocked. I think that was Insomniac. Spyro 2 Reptiles Rage certainly was. And some Naughty Dog with Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which is m admittedly going to be any percent in Crash Bandicoot 1. Um, but, yeah, the Insane Trilogy is going to be there. Uh, then some Kirby stuff with Kirby's Dream Land and Kirby's Adventure. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. 2. Um, Undertale, Super Mario Maker, and a 3v3 blind race. Uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Bingo. Then set up Block 7, which from the timing that I've got, I'm pretty sure is Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah, they're leaving it right till the end. And then uh, the RPG, as tradition, that is closing this, well, mostly of tradition at least, that is closing this year's SGDQ is uh, a glitchous any percent from Perixel of Final Fantasy VI, a.k.a. Final Fantasy III, because America didn't get them in the right order. So Final, Final Fantasy VI, as it actually is, but if you remember it from back in the day, you'll probably remember it as Final Fantasy III. That'll all be on, and that'll be 
winding its way through into the early hours of Sunday morning, at least American time. For me, it's going to be probably, depending on delays and whatever, it's going to be like 8 in the morning for me. Um, trying to work out where I'm going to be able to fit this stuff in. So now, I need to look at these setup blocks and look at the times to work out what's fitting in the slots. So it looks as if setup block one, if you want to look at it on your charts, <laughs> on uh, in the evening on Tuesday, at least, American time, looks as if Mega Man X2 and percent Buster only is there as a, a bonus thing, which is happening, but they're just trying to leave it as a surprise. But unless it, you, unless there's like, well, you got to get this amount of money and whatever. Uh, now I'm looking for something with a 48 attached to it. Sonic Free and Knuckles, con, con, going with the Sonic bundle, which makes sense. Uh, set up block three, which is 35 minutes. Oh, Super Monkey Ball 2 Monkey Ball, which is one of the Super Monkey Ball ROM hacks. That'll be following Super Monkey Ball 2, by the looks of it. That should be fun. Then, Celeste, I'm guessing, is followed up by the Celeste Taskbot thing. Oh, no, it might be, but there's also Pepsi Man. That and it's twenty because of the slot. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Um, <laughs> then thirty-five minutes. It looks as if following following Deus Ex, Deus Ex: Mankind Divided and Prey twenty seventeen. Uh, it's going to be a scriptless run of the original Half Life. I approve. Uh, I'm guessing the task block stuff is actually cut together, so Celeste isn't going to follow Celeste. It's going to be uh, some any percent and then some seasides uh, stuff as well. And, you know, Guango AC and all the uh, task bot and the, the task runners and everything are really exceptional, so... This should be, uh, it should be a fun thing. Uh, and then set up block seven, given it's an hour and seven minutes, pretty much tells me there it is, Super Mario Odyssey. Um, I don't even know what the world record is for that now, but I'm hyped. You should be too. Uh, as usual with uh, SGDQ, it is uh, raising money for Doctors Without Borders. Médecins Sans Frontières. <laughs> I don't know why I did that in a French accent. That seems slightly dodgy on my account. I apologise. Uh, however, the big thing that they did announce in the last few weeks is they're going to be doing, um, I guess, TwitchCon games done quick. Uh, they're going to, or GDQ Express, I think they're calling it, which is going to be a event running over TwitchCon at the end of October, um, showcasing speedrunning at Twitch's convention and everything, which I guess makes sense. I uh, don't know whether they've announced what it's raising money for. Um, oh, we'll be benefiting the charities participating in TwitchCon's charity plaza. So whatever charities are part of the, the plaza will be uh, done and everything. So, yeah, that should be cool. So, I guess bonus one coming up. We'll see. So, yeah, check that out. Twitch.tv slash games done quick. I put graphics on this, but I'm lazy because I need to be watching this. Because I've probably filmed this too late. It's probably not going to go up in time. Hopefully it does. I don't know. We'll see. Check out the other content. Films, wrestling, games, uh, food, other stuff. See you. Bye. God damn it. I need to watch this run.